Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we had everything start to crash down around our ears. Uh, the house, well, the castle, rather, is being under attack by, uh, Arl Howe, who was uh, apparently a former trusted friend of our father, and uh, is now at risk of destroying the entire family line of Kusland, uh, of which we are a part of. So, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of going the way Stray Cat's life went a little bit. I am, um, I'm now shocked at the similarities before I even started playing the game. Uh, it was not planned. <laughs> uh, to be fair, uh, Stray Cat was actually a lot younger than this when this happened, and it was a different force, but still, nonetheless, uh, not great. So, uh, <laughs> with uh, that in mind, it seems like they are trying to keep the uh, forces of, well, forces of evil, more or less, evil bastardry at bay, and at this point I'm going to check if there's anything else I can help before I get out of here. The enemies ahead. Oh, hi there! Yeah. Alright. There, I got some damage on the other guy. Back. Okay, that's right. I forgot, that's the thing I need to do. Run you through. Got it. Don't believe for this. Yeah, about that. You bled first. Okay, so we have more guards going to help, which is good. Oh, these guys didn't drop any loot. What bullshit? That door wasn't open earlier. All right. Well. Well, if you actually went to attack. Okay. There we go. Whoa! I just took off his fucking head. Holy shit. That's hilarious. Alright. There we go. You're down. Awesome. Alright. That's Lyrium. A lot of lyrium potions that I don't need because I'm not a magic user. Okay. Now we're gonna go across this way. Oh, and it auto saves for me. Okay. Something must be over on this side that'll make me want to <laughs> wish that I had a save. Can I get you a ladder off my back? There we go. Wow, the family sword is very long. I noticed. There we go. I'll get on it. Perfect. Good shit. Good shit. It's very, uh, very thick family sword there. Something is coming. Oh, how knight, huh? Oh boy, he is. He's very strong. Owie. All right. Good thing I had a health poultice for this particular fight. Oh, and I took off his head, too. Good. Good thing I did that. Cool. Alright. Okay, well, that fight could have gone worse. Okay. I'm not sure which way is the critical path. I think that was the critical path. So, I'm going to go this way. I can open this, right? Oh! We're gonna die. Hey, 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 calm we down. Get out. They're slaughtering everyone. You're not wrong. Just run. run. Just run. 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 Yeah, just run. You're not wrong. Deep mushroom. Okay. Just get out. Just get out. Escape. Escape as fast as you can. No one can blame me for it. Whoa, okay. All right. Come on. Die already. Thank you. All right. Got some uh, coins out of him. How about you? 
Oh, and I got another dagger. Is this a stronger dagger? Because it doesn't really mention if it's a stronger one or not uh, compared to my other one. Uh, that's damage, armor penetration. It looks like the exact same dagger. Okay, so good enough. Good enough to know. I cannot go this way. There's no way I can do that. Alright, so. Since that is not the critical path, and that is cleared out, I will continue to go this way. Can't go that way. I think I haven't opened this yet. I have not. I want to check this far one, though. Oh, jeez. Well, some of them didn't escape. That sucks. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Quartz. Quartz in a barrel? Really? Yeah, that's weird. Weird choice, but okay. Oh! Daddy, no! There, you both are. I was... Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. How did you get here? You can hardly move. Duncan, go. Found me. Brought me here. And left you lying in your own blood? We must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Then we will stay and defend you. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go. Someone must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Hal must have something planned for him, too. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Hal's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. Nice to see you're still here. The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My youngest son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I'm surprised you haven't already left. I did not wish to leave your father alone. Whatever well, is to good. be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me, but I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship, but I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. What about Sarah Gilmore? Truthfully, you were always my first choice. I will take the tear oh. and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. But what if Fergus is dead? We will inform the king, and he will punish Hal. I'm sorry, but a Grey Warden's duties take precedence even over vengeance. Hal thinks he'll use the chaos to advance himself. Make him wrong, pup. See that justice is done. Our family always does our duty first. The Darkspawn must be defeated. You must go, for your own sake and for Ferelden's. I will, Father, for you. We must leave quickly, then. Bryce, are you... sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. 
but I won't abandon you. We can find another way. We can fight. So we all die? No. Your place is now with the Grey Wardens. Mine is with your father, at his side, to death and beyond. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my last of your life. We had a good life and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? I guess. Allow me to yeah. introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Uh, are you not even aware my father is dead? Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Hal to justice. You have my word. Good. Thank you. What kind of justice? He will hang. I know that will not bring your family back, but Hal will not profit from this. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. When will he return? Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. Oh, I can do that. As long as he pays, I'm happy. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Yeah. It sounds like the blight is almost over. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. Well, I must go yeah. before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. I mean, hey, you gotta take the good news when you can, considering I had none whatsoever. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. You don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with Frame each rate passing day. There. By now, they look to outnumber us. Just I with their bodies, though. Demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes okay. our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. 
We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. Okay. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. What do you mean? What ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Why is this ritual so secret? The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. I see. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. You are making it sound worse and worse every moment, but okay. I'm going to trust you, man. Am I the only recruit you have? No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Good to know. Uh, I, I don't need to find Fergus. We already know he's not coming. Uh, let's get this over with then. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. All right. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, oh. seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. I think I recognize Your that hound name. Can stay with me while I attend to some business. <laughs> The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. All right. Sounds good. And I got a level up too. All right. Wow, I have a lot of quests. Fucking tease. Okay, level up. Let's do it. All right. Um. Maybe I should add to willpower a little bit to add to the stamina pool. Uh, and let's keep building these up a little bit. All right. Uh, adding a combat tactic slot would be good. That way I have less that I need to do. And reduce the fatigue penalty for wearing armor. I think that'd be good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, hmm. Oh, look at that. Fatigue penalty is greatly reduced. Awesome. So. Uh, and now I can equip the shield, which I don't really want to. Uh, I'm a little annoyed that you're not allowed to carry another sword in the offhand, but I guess a dagger's okay. Kind of how Stray does it, so it works out. Kind of. I mean, he, he carries an actual more short sword in his other hand, but dagger works too, especially considering how long the daggers are in this game. Okay. Um... Oh, gives you a nice little map here. Cool. Tents, Duncan's Fire, Dog Kennels, Korkari Wilds, Infirmary, Quartermaster, and Alistair. I recognize the name, but I don't know why I do. Huh. This was... Yeah, this was the direction that doesn't lead me anywhere. Okay. Uh, two tactic slot. That, this is not what I wanted. Where's the tactics? There it is. Why? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Um, enemy. Uh, any. I guess. Um, let's go with attack. Probably better than nearest visible. Um, actually, can I move that down a bit? Huh. I don't know. Ah, there you go. That's how you do that. That's how you enable and disable it. Okay. Um, maybe I should 
do self for now since I'm the only real party member. Um, health at, I guess 50% is probably good. Um, use lesser health poultice. There we go. Uh, yeah. And self. Uh, any. Let's see. Use ability activate mode. There we go. Dual striking. That way he'll keep it on and I don't have to do anything to engage it. Or at least that's how I'm hoping that'll go. <laughs> I'm remembering things very slowly and very, very haphazardly from my days of doing Final Fantasy XII and then this game. Uh, well, not this game, uh, Dragon Age 2, rather. Uh, like I said, I've never played this game ever, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but I do recall that Dragon Age 2 had a similar system, and I think I did it that way, but I don't right remember. So. This way I don't have to worry about much. Let's just follow Duncan. The Grey Warden tent is across the bridge. Find me there if you wish. Absolutely. I'll just be uh, exploring the rest of this stuff before that. Wow, this bridge. This bridge has seen better days. Man, oh man, oh man. Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yes, I am this place actually. I haven't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Uh, I'm looking for uh, Duncan's tent. Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Good. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Uh, tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. I see. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This oh. side is the King's okay. Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Don't swing a dead cat. Don't swing a dead cat. Don't make it be dead either. I'll kill you. All right. Uh, do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? True. The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. Well, These I aren't mean... cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Yeesh. Oh. Oh, that sucks. The Circle of Magi is here. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me oh. the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, I know bunched of those. up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. I know of those. It's fucked. Oh, I know of those. It's real fucked. Oh, jeez. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Good to know. I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, then. Thank you. New Codex, Ostagar. Alright. Quartermaster. King's Guard. Talk to you. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Yep. Uh, tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the king's business with you. Uh, fair enough. I should guess. As you wish. I mean, thank you for uh, telling me that I can fuck off. At least I know. You approach the tent of Tern Loghain. State your business. Uh, tell me about him. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. That's fair. Uh, what's he doing inside? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Sure, you, surely you can tell me a little about him. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. Really? The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks okay. his mind. And the king yells right back. 
Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Fair enough. I would like an audience with him, please. Don't be absurd. He can't give an audience to everyone who gets up here, you know? Okay, fair enough. I'm not just anyone. My father is, was, Terran Kuzland. Oh, I didn't know. Hold on, I'll get him. Good, thank you. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Hi there. Uh, I'm not a Grey Warden yet. You impressed his majesty nonetheless. He could not contain his excitement over your meeting. Really? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Ah, uh, fascination you don't share. The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? Uh, my father was a Terran of High Ever. The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I don't know. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return All to my right. task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Uh, and if he doesn't... Then simply pray. Okay! Fair enough, you are not happy with what he's pulling. I understand. Alright. Here's Piff. Here's my doggo. Barking at the fire. Bark, bark, bark. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the Maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the Maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Oh! Okay! Then, yeesh. All right, kennel master. I want Excuse to talk me, to you. I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from darkspawn blood. It's terrible. Yeesh. Excuse You're me. You're just phasing into the, the fence there, bud. <laughs> Half the dogs are sick from darkspawn blood. You there, elf? Terrible. What's your name? Ah, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything. We have a little red amiss. one. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. You've red one. Hi there, Ash Warrior Leader. What do you need? You haven't brought more instruction from the turn, I hope. Not really. Uh, do you talk to everyone like if that? I feel like it. All right. If you're not from the turn. What do you want? We're busy. Uh, you don't look like the other soldiers in the army. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Uh, what is? One of those. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. So what are, what do they do? We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarf discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. Fair enough. I have a Mabari hound of my own. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lap. Fair enough. Oh, uh, why have you painted your dogs? I'm noticing a lot of them are painted, including that one that looks like a uh, fucking... <laughs> uh... I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, that, that is a hell of a look, though. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. Fair enough. So we paint ourselves with caddis, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. I see. What if the enemy is painted with caddis as well? Although it's not likely. <laughs> Why? Assuming. Would you steal our caddis and give it to the Darkspawn Hordes? I hope you're joking. <laughs> if you tried, we would kill you. And that is no joke. Fair enough! Okay! Well, 
Always delightful to have a threat leveled my way for casual, ca very casual, uh, innocent questions. I should be going. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Fair enough. Can't really blame you. All right, where was a quartermaster? That's Duncan. I was told a quartermaster would be nearby. I want a quartermaster. Oh. You found our tent, I see. Yes. Is there something you need? Uh, I have some questions. Alistair can help you with those. I had hoped he would be back by now. All right, fair enough. I guess I'll go talk to him. Where are Win? Greetings, there. young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Thank you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Uh, I've seen quite a few mages today. I'm Tomas. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Uh, will you be fighting beside the king? Nah, it's like, King Kaelin thinks the battle will go well. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. Fair enough. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that <clears throat> with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. Fair enough. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Uh, do you know much about Darkspawn? Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? I know the Fade is where you go when you dream. Any time your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. Okay. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. So Darkspawn are just dream spirits? Sadly, no. They are kin to neither the gentle Fade spirits nor the malevolent demons. Shamefully, they were once the souls of men. Oh. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. Oh. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least that's that was what, what was in the opening cutscene. Okay. All right, I've heard that story before. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Fair enough. Uh, I'll just kill every duck spawn I see. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. Fair but enough. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Maybe, but, I mean... I just, I just kind of wanted to talk to you. I'm, I'm on my way to try and find a, uh, fucking quartermaster, which I'm assuming that's it over there? Hello Welcome there, Tranquil. Man. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Because magic is powerful and dangerous. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Yeah, Even I remember those, those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Oh. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. 
I feel badly for you. It sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. I'm sure you do, but that doesn't mean it's good. I feel badly for you. You do? I feel nothing. That's a problem! As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. We I, I still think it's bad. I still think it's bad. What is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Whoa, that explains why the dwarves were able to do it, because they have no ability to use magic at all. That explains a lot, actually. Uh, what sort of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Fair enough. I guess, yeah, you would know really well. I kind of sealed up your uh, your emotions and magic because of that. I should go. Goodbye. 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 Okay. Well, I learned a couple things. Learned a couple things, and uh, we escaped from Kuslin Castle with our lives, only to leave our father and mother behind to uh, let us escape. Yeah, yeah, this is playing out a lot like Stray Cat's uh, backstory. I was not aware. <laughs> I was very much not aware that it would go this way. Whoops, he <laughs> daisy. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And very, very concerned that I may have accidentally uh, recreated Stray Cat's story uh, more or less in this game without actually intending to. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we are now set to become a Grey Warden because, uh, we kind of have no other choice and we're going to have to find out if, uh, the entire Kuslin family line dies with me, uh, if, you know, that becomes a thing. That would suck if it did. For you.